I can tell you that Lee County Schools and Superintendent Jackie Pons has led the way in introducing an alternative fuel for the entire state of Florida. I remember it well in 2007 when Superintendent Pons was first elected. He knew he wanted to transition our diesel bus fleet into something much more cleaner. We did the research, he evaluated the research, and he chose compressed natural gas, or CNG, as that alternative. This was so new at the time that Superintendent Pons wanted to produce a public awareness campaign first. He spoke to parent groups, he spoke to the DAC, he spoke to the Chamber of Commerce, and he also spoke to multiple environmental groups to bring them on board, and the message was very good. When we were ready to order the first eight buses, there was only one bus model available on state contract. Superintendent bought it. When I got the keys to the compressed natural gas bus, I can't tell you how excited I was that we're actually going to have our own fleet. We're going to do something about protecting the environment right here in Leon County. Well, once we ordered the first eight buses, Superintendent knew he needed to provide a fueling infrastructure. The private sector was non-existent at the time. So he authorized our construction and facilities department to build a fast fill fueling station on our Connor Boulevard property. From the beginning, Superintendent Pons knew he wanted to make this cleaner, less expensive alternative fuel available to all of Lingen County. Well today, we're taking action. We're taking action here, a bold step for the Leon County school system. We have partners from the Sea of Tallahassee, from our county commission, and we're going to do something about this addiction to foreign oil. Last year, the superintendent negotiated a first-of-its-kind private-public partnership with No Petro. Leon County Schools, uh, as every other government entity essentially throughout the state of Florida, was very interested in reducing their budgets, dropping costs, co cutting costs. And what happened was, uh, to do that, Superintendent Pons identified transitioning their fleet of 220 plus buses to natural gas. I'm very proud of this and I think it's the way of the future, not only for Florida, but for our entire nation. To provide this west side fueling station that the entire public can use, that will allow us to grow our fleet to over 200 buses, and uh, it is simply the state of the art. And only one tenth of one percent of the vehicles in America are fueled by natural gas right now. This is the biggest growth opportunity for lessening our dependence on foreign oil for vehicles. This project has been so remarkable that people from all over the state of Florida are visiting Tallahassee to see what we have accomplished and how we have accomplished it. As a matter of fact, Superintendent Pons just two weeks ago was honored as one of Florida's sustainable leaders in the state. And the winner of the Sustainable Florida Best Practice Award for Leadership goes to Jackie Pons. As Leon County citizens, we should be very proud of the leadership on this effort. While everybody else in the country talks about alternative fuels, Leon County Schools has done it.